y'all i'm fortune frankly and welcome to my brand new channel yeah. Yay. so during this quarantine 2020 season i'm stuck at home like so many of you and i found i have a lot more time on my hands which is a good thing so i'm doing a lot more like crafty stuff a lot of organizing which i love to do i'm also doing more cooking which i don't like to do hence this banded if you can see it's like the same color or similar color to my hand thank you nude band-aids but for real for real i hope everyone is doing well both physically and mentally this is like something we've never been through before and it could be tough you know like nobody really knows how they're gonna react to complete isolation from everybody in the world it's it's kind of unnatural but we're all in this alone together and I hope that does bring you at least a little bit of comfort. And I hope that this video brings you some comfort too. So for today's project, we're going to be using one Ikea basket in two ways. I've had the supplies for this project for a long time and I just never got around to it. But I said today's the day, we're just gonna film it. We're gonna do it. The first project is one of these plant holder basket rail things that I've seen. And I have the materials for this project for a while. I just never got around to doing it. After that, I was like, okay, I have some leftover supplies. Let's do a second version of the project, which is project two. And it's like a hanging version of the first project, which, you know, gives us some variety, which we all know is the spice of life. I've generally seen the materials for this kind of project cost a little bit more than I would like it to. You know, my bank account is now set up that way. So we wanted to keep things affordable. Everything that I used in this project is either from Ikea or from the Dollar Tree. All of the products that I use are linked in the description below. And with that, we can move on to the real reason you're here. Let's start with supplies. For this project, you'll need a basket that can hang on a rail. This one is from Ikea. I picked up 12 of them and I did start on the front already. Super sorry about that but I will be doing the back today on camera. Next, you'll need some type of cording. I picked up 24 bundles of this nautical cord from the Dollar Tree, but you can get whatever kind of cord you want. You'll also need a glue gun, a lot of glue sticks, a lighter, or maybe more than one, some scissors, some circular floral foam, I also got these from the Dollar Tree and I picked up 12 of them just in case I need all of them. And you'll also need a rail to hang your baskets. I also got this from Ikea and I picked up 6 of them so that I can hang my baskets from them. Now let's get started with project 1. So you're first going to want to start with the nautical row. And here we're just making sure we seal the ends so that they don't unravel while we're doing our project. They come with a piece of tape on each end to keep it together, but you're going to want to cut that tape off and glue the pieces back together. You can see here that this is a three strand rope, so we're going to twist those back up and put some glue in there. Make sure you get the glue way in between the strands so that it holds together once we finished and we'll just twist it back up. Once you finish your rope, it's gonna look something like this, sealed on both ends. And now we can get started with the basket. What we're gonna do on the basket is go back and forth with the rope so that it creates rows along the basket. And we're gonna start from the very bottom, but you can start from wherever you want on your own basket. And I wanted to do the back panel separately here because I like the uniformity on the sides. But again, you can do this however you like. While you're gluing these down, you want to make sure that you do them in small increments. You don't want to put too much glue down and not be able to glue things down fast enough where the glue is still tacky. So since it's the back and this is a smaller area, I can just do one row completely with glue. But if you're doing the front or if you're wrapping around the entire basket at one time, you want to do this in smaller increments. Another tip here is that when you get to the ends of your rows, you want to make sure that you twist the rope so that it stays taut and when you're gluing it down, it doesn't look loose in any way. As you're gluing things down, you want to make sure that everything is aligned well and that your rows are super smooth and straight. 
You wanna make sure that you're pressing down between your rows to make them kind of squish together so that there aren't any gaps. And we're gonna continue on throughout the rest of the basket. So you want to stop about here on your basket just so you can make sure that the rail fits underneath and then you just want to cut your cord. It might be helpful to unravel the cord a little bit and cut each piece individually because it's kind of bulky otherwise. And again you want to make sure that you seal those ends and then glue them down. Ryan Little. <laughs> and your basket should look like this. Again, you can do this kind of cording however you like, but I do like having the sides look the same and then the back look like a separate piece. Next, we're gonna be using our lighter to light this basket on fire, literally. Well, maybe not too literally, but we do wanna singe this cord a little bit. The flame from your lighter will actually burn off some of those stray ends and those frays that we see and it'll also melt down any little glue residue that you may have. Plus, this gives our really pale cord a nice tan. And now we finish with the foundation of our basket for this project but I have to go do something. So this is the door. I haven't used it in so long. I don't remember the last time I went outside, but I do have to get some things from the mail that we're gonna be putting in our baskets. Wish me luck. So I ordered all my faux plants from Amazon. I can't take care of real plants, so we're settling on the faux plants. I did a lot of research on what plants look good and all of them that I got from Amazon look really great. I'll include links in the description below. So we're gonna take our basket and we're gonna put the floral foam in the basket. This will give us like a base for the plants so that they don't move around and there's kind of something filling the basket in between them. You can keep the foam in the plastic or you can take it out if you want. It just gets a little messier that way. We're going to take our plants and bend them at the bottom so that they kind of form a hook and can go underneath the foam so that they don't pop out later on. Next thing you'll be needing is the rail. I'm just kind of preloading them on here before I put them in the wall so I can figure out spacing and get it looking really good. I did switch up the baskets here a little bit. I wanted to put the basket with the finished back on the outside where you'll actually see it and then the rest of the baskets, I didn't waste any cord on them. They'll be in the middle and you won't be able to see the back at all. So the rails did come with screws that you can screw into the wall but I didn't want to make any holes in my wall, so I went with these command hooks. They're super easy to take off and they don't leave any damage on the walls, fingers crossed. And instead of using the sticky tape that came with the hooks, I opted for these command hook picture frame sticky tapey things, whatever you want to call them. They're a little bit chunkier, like thicker, and they help the rail stand out from the wall a little bit more. Here's the finished product.
Moving on to project two. We're gonna be using the same materials that we did minus a few things. So you won't need anything new from this project. You're gonna to wanna to seal the ends of your cord and glue them down along the basket. This time we wanna go up just until the edge of that notch at the top and then we're gonna cut our cord and seal it at the ends. Now we're going to make the hanging part of the basket. We're just gonna take some cord, this is actually the rest that I had left in the bundle, and we're gonna split it in two down the middle so that we have two even rope lengths and seal the ends. Now in the back of your basket, we're gonna be gluing this down so that the two ends meet and the rope looks finished from the outside. You wanna put some glue in between that hole and the notch just so you make sure you get glue all along the top. And we're gonna come out on the sides too with that glue. Ryan Little. <laughs> Now I'm just pushing the rope into that glue and make sure it's super secure. And this is what your basket should look like. Also forgot to mention that I put a little bit of rope on this top where the notch is where you can see it from the front. And again, we're just gonna wanna singe everything to give it a nice finish. So to style this basket, I just got some yarn that I also got from the Dollar Tree, kind of for decor, I might do a project with it later, IDK. But we're just gonna stuff it in here, try to make it look cute, and hang it on the wall. <laughs> so those are the projects i have for you today i will definitely be filming more and posting more videos for more home decor projects in the near future in the meantime, you can follow me on Instagram at fortune underscore frankly. Brand new Instagram, you know, give it some love. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.